I've got a cut on my foot. I cut it coming into Sheffield. I um, think it was a piece of glass or something and it went in and it came out and it was fine for a couple of days. And then I didn't cover it up properly yesterday, which is my own stupid fault because I had loads of people running with me. And I ran um, 19 miles yesterday and it was fine. And then yesterday night it got really, really sore. And I've woken up and I just I got hardly slept last night because my foot was so sore. And I'm supposed to be running 22 miles today. And I've got loads of people who are supposed to be running with me. I'm just sick and tired of it. I just want to be able to run and not be in pain. <sighs> I'm just going to see if I can try and run and if I can run a few miles then maybe that'll be okay. <sighs> mm. Oh, so frustrating! So frustrating! Why can't it just... Oh. I've tried and that at least now I've done that half a mile without a doubt I cannot run on this today so I've just stopped and pulled the bandage off my foot and I've just given it a poke and a load of pus has oozed out I think it's definitely infected in there which is explains why it's hurting so much I've done my stint at the hospital and just around this corner there should be an AA van come to rescue me because I was supposed to be running with a load of AA guys and I couldn't make it obviously I stood them up I was not even there for my own party but apparently I got a message saying they've gone and done the run anyway love that style legends so I should be ah oh, I've got a little group of runners here and I'm gonna get a ride in a proper AA van. Oh my God, there's a man in a high-vis jacket. So it is time for me to get my ride from Phil in the van. He's a man with a van. He's the man who can. Go Let's on, go. Phil, lead on. I'm excited. I've never been in an AA van before. I feel honored. I feel honored. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the AA van, the finest chariot you can imagine, with Phil and I'm off to Penny's house because Penny has said that I can come and stay with her. She works for the AA, she heard about me and my dodgy foot and she said why don't you come home, have a nice meal, a warm bed and she's going to look after me. I think I might even be getting a bath as well. Happy days. Oh, so it's the morning after the, um, my foot started hurting yesterday. And I'm still in quite a lot of pain. I don't know what I have done to that. But um, that is so painful. I got a little bit of sleep through the night, but um, I think I'm gonna have to find another doctor today because I don't know what I've done to my foot, but that is honestly one of the most painful things. And what is going on? It just looks like a little cut, but it's so painful. I am in the AA in Cheadle. Woo! Cheadle Massive! And we've been doing some adventure stories and I've been hearing about the runs, the Snowdens, and we've also got a very novel way to how to deal with a scorpion bite, which <laughs> this young man here put forward. We'll leave you to find out about that one later. Oh, Penny. Oh, I'm a Thank you. You've been an amazing person, <laughs> and very inspirational to us Thank all. Thank you. Thank Thanks you very you. much. And you, Thank Ellie, you. as well. Thank you. Look after yourself. Same keep up the you. cycling. Absolutely. And keep feeding people up. Yeah, I'll, w I'll wait for you on your next visit. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll be back, <laughs> definitely. Maybe in some shoes next time, oh, though, you no. know. <laughs> Ready to go? Let's go. Thank you so much. Onwards with Phil. So it's now the end of another crazy day. I cannot believe I managed to get rescued by Adam, who was a local GP who came back from running a marathon around a track 
to come and find me. He came to exactly where I was. He picked me up. He um, looked at my foot. He decided that I probably did need some antibiotics. And so then he drove me to the pharmacy to get the antibiotics and then dropped me off where I needed to go afterwards. So thank goodness for people like Adam. I can't believe it. And when this is all over and said and done, whatever goes on with his foot, like it is just all been worth it just to meet Adam, a lovely, kind man, and be shown how amazing the people of Britain are and how fantastic social media is for finding what you need. Mad.